My name is Carson Arthur, international television personality and outdoor lifestyle expert, and I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful effect for your home using Rhinox walling veneers. Before beginning, be sure to have on hand all of the necessary tools. It's important to prepare your walls for the installation following the national building codes. It's also recommended to open a few boxes and mix the pieces to properly blend all of the sizes and colors. It's also essential to properly follow the manufacturer's instructions when mixing the polymer cement glue or mortar for your interior projects. To facilitate the installation, work from the bottom of the wall upwards. Apply one quarter of an inch of polymer cement glue on the back surface of the stone and one quarter of an inch on the wall surface. Apply even pressure on the stone to ensure a proper bond between the wall surface and the stone. Small amounts of excess polymer glue should overflow on the sides of the stone. If no polymer glue is seen from the sides, add a thicker coat of mortar to the back of the stone. It is important to always wear gloves and safety goggles when cutting any Ronax walling stones. These products can be cut with a diamond blade saw. The size of the mortar joints can vary depending on personal taste. A small piece of wood trim placed between the stones can be used to attain the desired joint width and help maintain joint width consistency. Wait 12 hours. Afterwards, you can begin filling the joints. Try to avoid getting jointing mortar on the surface of the stone. If this happens, wait until the mortar becomes slightly dry before removing it with a brush. For more videos like this one, make sure to tune in to Rhinox.ca.